everyone today we are going to learn how to use google meet using our mail id so before uh, starting we have to open our mail account so to use the g suit id you just click on add account you have to add your g suit id that is username You can see below my personal ID and this is the G Suite ID. You will get ID from your organization. Check the username spelling should be correct or you will be getting some errors. Once you type your ID, click on next. After clicking on next, you have to enter your password. You have to keep the password once you log in for the first time itself. Keep it secret. Once you type password, again you have to click on next. Now you are logged in in your G Suite account. Don't get confused here. Sign in, you can see here. Yeah. Once you click on that, you'll be able to use the G Suite ID. Click on Google Meet. Here it will show you the G Suite ID. You have to change with your personal ID to G Suite ID. You can see here. Now you can see we have to just click on new meeting. If you are already scheduled, it will show there. Schedule in meet Google Calendar. It will direct you to the Google Calendar. Here is a Google Calendar. So please click block here. If you allow, you will get notifications unnecessary disturbance. So we have to add a title to your class. For example, I just type computer here. I will take any grade randomly. Then we will set the date time. As of now, I will I am taking by default time zone. You please set according to your times. So you can change your time here, date, everything you can select. We should not directly click on save. We have to just change the the days. We can get daily, weekly on Saturday, monthly on the last Saturday, annual on May 29. Every weekend, Monday to Friday, or we can customize also. You can see on the screen custom recurrence you can repeat every week day month year the choice is yours repeat on sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday like this and ends never on after so it's very simple to use you can just change the date again calendar occurrences after 13 after 12 like this once you're done, you just click on done. So I have not clicked on done because I have not set anything. So this is notification. It should be by mail. How many minutes, hours, days, weeks notification. So it will, here it will show you a name. You can just change the event color also. These are access to settings. Free, busy, default visibility, you can keep it private, if you keep it public then anybody can log in. So you add description for the users, uh, the notification whom the notification you want to send, they, will, they can read this description. For example, I am typing introduction to Word or Excel or a PowerPoint. 
according to your subject class. Then the most important part is add guests. Already I have a friend here, just I am sticking him as a joining. Then you can add students list here only with the help of their personal mail ID also you can use or you can use a choose your account ID also. So here you just untick the checkbox invite others modify event. If you do this, they can, they will be not able to invite any other outsiders. So click on save. Then you can just send it. Yeah, invite example. Saving the message is gone to the users. You can see we are directed to the Google Calendar on 29th, that is 9th A, 11 30 pm. The classic schedule. Like this, you can schedule many classes according to your convenience. We can just click on create there. You can add your classroom here again this is the very easiest way to use the Google Meet best way and just click on save you can just click on that calendar directly I'll just close it and now you can see on the home page the class is visible so 11.30 pm is the timing. So if I click on my class, you can see here camera is starting. Please allow it to block. Yeah, my can. So I am offing my camera. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you want to see, just use the camera, you just click on the camera option. Now here you can be a can just present directly yeah here you can see chrome tab if you want to use google chrome you can use entire screen or a window there are three options close it let's go back i am ending the call now ending the call is nothing but ending the meeting or just leave the call I have just left a call so I will rejoin it again I am offing my camera so it's now join now we have to click here you can see I am a host so here options are there microphone camera turn on option captions this captions helps you a lot you good whatever I speak it will be shown here how about you I am fine thank you this is the way you can see hope everyone is safe these are the caption if you on it will be very useful for the students especially. You can on the camera. You can end the meeting. You can use the present now option. More options. You can use whiteboard. Then whiteboard is nothing but a jam board here. Start a new whiteboard. It will direct you to the jam. You can see here creating a jam. Someone needs access to the file, you can give access. Suppose you you want your student to present something on the whiteboard, you can send a notification. By using that link, he or she will be able to work on the Jamboard. Jamboard is nothing but a whiteboard. You can change the background. You can just use pen here to write. Yeah. You should have a good mouse. Erasing. You can use text box to type. 
as I'm using here. Hello, everyone. You can share the link also so that they can access. No need to sign in for that. So you can set the background color if you want change any color according to your convenience. Close it. We'll move to the next option. click on three dot ellipses you can change layout please select tile here you can see the users right now 16 you can raise this to till 49 it means 49 web cameras you will be able to see then you can just click to the full screen you can change background right now you don't have I don't have this support so it is not effective so we'll move to the next captions just now I have shown you what is the use of caption yeah this is what we can do now we'll just click on settings here audio you can see audio is working you can change here speakers, default speakers, communications, headphones, speakers, headphones, video, host controls. This is a very important part for you. Please read it carefully. This all should be on. If you off this, only host can send the messages. So I just suggest you to off it so that your users can't you do the chatting. So next you can see on the top of screen right side share show everyone it will show the participants here then you can see the chat box just now I had shared a jamboard it is showing if you just click on that jamboard you will be able to use the white we can collaborate so this is what we have in options. Just end the call as so you finish your class. Return to the home screen. Yes, you can just see the details now you just click on x3 dot ellipsis and go for more tools here you have to click on extensions this is for attendance right now here my admin has not added or given me the permission to use the attendance so you have to request or once it is added you will be able to use the attendance I am trying to search whether it is available or not if it is available we will be able to use it so it's not available once it is available I will be able to use the Google Meet attendance that is the best extension So I have tried all the two methods, it is not available, so we will move to the next. Click on three, again six, that nine dots, it will take you to Google Calendar. I will just delete, if you want to, I want to delete the event, see event is deleted. It will show you here, but the event is deleted. Directly you can add your class or any meeting here. See that? Once I click on that, the dialog box appears. You can just set the title and save it. Anywhere according to date, time, you can click 
you can set the class now once again click on nine dots you can see google classroom you can use your google classroom one advantage of this g suite is you get unlimited storage click on plus create class student has to click on join class you can just write the subsection subject room and your create option will be visible active once you enter everything so move to the next you can go to the drive where you will find all the data your attendance classroom recorded classes now is forms once you click on form you'll be able to see here blank blank quiz exit ticket assessment worksheet i'll just show you the example of worksheet in built worksheet you'll be able to use it worksheet title name email image title questions multiples title paragraph very easy to use and very simple to understand click on nine dot here there are many features which you can use like docs sheets docs is nothing but word sheets in the way excel there are many options if you have these all facilities you can use it that's for for the google meet thank you